بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو موو فارورڈ ود گورنمنٹ ایز اے میجر اسٹیک ہولڈر ان کارپریٹ گورننس وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اٹس ویریس ایسپیکٹس ویریس ڈائمینشنس ویریس اسکولز آف تھاٹ ویریس ویریس امپلیمنٹیشن پروگریٹوز اینڈ آلسو دا ویریس فریم ورکس تھرو وچ اٹ بیسکلی ریگولیٹس دا کارپریٹ سیکٹر ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا گورنمنٹ اٹس رول ان لمٹنگ کارپریٹ پاورس واٹ وی آر سینگ in the 21st century is that a uh, trillion trillion dollar organizations have emerged uh, let us look at uh, google uh, let us look at uh, tesla uh, let us look at uh, apple uh, let us look at microsoft so all of these companies are huge mammoths uh, they are uh, organizations which are actually uh, bigger than uh, countries uh, and their uh, boards and their Uh, chief executive officers have immense clout because uh, all the nations of the world have to interface with them have to work with them and therefore uh, they have huge implications uh, on a global scale and also on a local level then uh, on the national level we see that huge companies are emerging so if we see in pakistan we see uh, the nishad group it's uh, it's in uh, it's in textiles it's in cement it's in automobile uh, it's in uh, exports Uh, so they're everywhere. Uh, we, we, we see uh, groups like Sapphire Group emerging. Uh, we see uh, groups like uh, the, uh, the Lucky Cement or the Lucky Group, uh, which, which has emerged. Uh, we, we see that uh, there are other uh, groups also uh, coming up, which have immense influence uh, on government because uh, they basically are involved in um, hundreds of millions of dollars of exports, uh, getting foreign exchange for the government, and also Uh, are employing uh, many thousands and thousands uh, of people and therefore are contributing uh, towards the economy and and therefore have immense influence on the government so all of this basically can sometimes also uh, lead to a very baneful or negative influence because uh, then these large organizations uh, tend to think that they are above the law uh, that because they are contributing so much towards a national or global economy therefore they should not be uh, pushed back or discouraged or uh, barriers should be created for them uh, so that they cannot uh, have a lot of revenues uh, coupled with uh, with landslide uh, what we call uh, profits and therefore their influence uh, can have its own uh, negative impact uh, at a national and at a global level and therefore the government has to limit it now when we are talking about that unrestricted and unregulated corporations can overwhelm governments laws must be designed in keeping up uh, the economic and political evolution of the giant corporations so it's very important that they are uh, basically controlled and uh, the laws and regulations should be made in such a way i mean for example in pakistan we do have uh, the monopoly control authority uh, we do have the uh, the corporate competitive uh, competitive authority also uh, we we do have the state bank which is regulating so many things the fbr which is regulating so many things the secp which is regulating so many things so all of these are there but their implementation is extremely important and how they can tend to control uh, this uh, unfettered growth uh, of corporations is very important because otherwise at the end of the day uh, the common man and the public uh, be- becomes exploited now giant uh, corporations have the power to play a crucial role in elections also and that is how they tend to influence governments and they tend to influence political parties the economic government which is the giant corporation is largely unaccountable to its constituencies uh, constituencies which are shareholders workers consumers local communities taxpayers small businesses and future generations so again on one hand we see the political parties uh, are uh, basically accountable to their constituencies but the uh, giant corporations uh, who are having an economic government uh, they basically are not accountable to anyone and therefore Uh, they are more dangerous in many contexts and therefore we see different examples on a global level of enron and worldcom while on a local level we see the debacle of uh, bcci uh, which uh, basically uh, was uh, a very upcoming bank and also exact uh, which was in education and also in media and they basically had an impact on their stakeholders uh, one definition of government would be an entity that can tax coerce or even take life giant corporations and spend decisive amounts in elections to determine which town or party tends to thrive which gathers cobwebs 
corrupt or overthrow uh, different governments, develop technology that takes lives or save lives. So again, uh, this economic government or these uh, conglomerates or these monopolies or these huge corporations can affect every way of life. And therefore, uh, that unfettered approach should not be allowed. And it is uh, extremely important that the government controls these large corporations, ensures that these large corporations do not encroach upon the rights uh, of other uh, stakeholders and shareholders. And most importantly, they should be answerable to the government and they cannot uh, move ahead uh, and uh, tend to uh, create a facade of the judicial system and impose uh, their own uh, wants, needs, desires and vision uh, upon a nation or upon humanity as a whole. Thank you so much.